Is that what we have to do? <gasps> we do. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, can we get in the shop now? Oopsie. in there <laughs> the noises are the best I love it so much oh what is in here then super sprint oh take super sprint detergent what the a whole bottle we're going to need that for something surely Let's steal what we can Hi. Oh, what's this? Who are you? Oh, that's so cool. Four hundred and seventy miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric hair, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around yet. Right, so that's where the cables go. Once we find the energy drink. Or like five of them. Hello. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? You want something? I'll show them this. I bet some people will pay a lot for salt, false super sprite spirit bottle my read is terrible in my defense though it is like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> Wait, what's in here all right let's go upstairs first see what they got see if we can rob them blind oh remember do they really consume this the original design didn't have a digestive system Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I didn't want to be disrespectful of their ways. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have a bit. Oh, mate. What happens if we clear the table? Funny enough, my kitties have got a ball like that one. That I just knocked down the hole. Nothing. Nothing at all. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. What about if I show you? Ah. Hmm. No, let's have a look around it. Oh no. We knocked the we knocked the balls off the off the table. Change music. Oh my god. Here we go. What can I do for you? Um, show them this. Right, okay. Now 
knock his beer straight off the table. He wants something. Well. Oh, translate. Jacob, employee of the month. Hello, Jacob. Bounce back to these guys. Okay. Oh, that's where I came in. I was about to say, this feels wrong. What's up? Announce a local storm caper of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Suba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Can we give this to the guy in the market? This detergent? Ah. Yes. Nice. Let's go get a fucking poncho, lads. A little kitty sized poncho. God. Nice. You can have rubs for that. Uh, examine. Hair effect for a cold robot. Okay. I thought we were going to get a kitty poncho. You look cold. Hmm. Right, let's get out of the streets a bit then. Let's get back up high and continue with our mission. This guy got escape. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Have right, we been over there? Have we been up there? I think we have, right? So that one over there we have to go to. I'm pretty sure we've been to that one too. Let's go in and have a look. Oh. Oh, what's that? TV remote. That's, that's the book place, that's the library. Yeah. Oh, we haven't been in here, I don't think. Have we? Yeah, we are. This is where we got Clementine's book from, right? Okay. Let's 
it up high and have a look. Oh. Oh. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behaviour. Shop. Must be this one over there. We've done that one. We've done the buck shop. Yeah, that seems like the only one left, right? Last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone called Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. There seems to be almost anything that moves and breeds at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in a city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also no there's also a note in this book that says, I found a design floor with a transceiver by I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. Oh, okay. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. That's out over there, right? That's where he lives. Let's show him. Let's try docks. Didn't give a fuck. Wait, you've actually found all of my friends' notebooks? Yes. Oh wait, 
What's that no Note. The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate with the outside of the slums. Clementine, so about that. Doc, I'm sorry, I doubt it. I'll pause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, I might be able to find a way up. I have I haven't seen any my shit, Wolf. They are fixing the transceiver though. Voila, it works. Come with me. We haven't really eaten anything, we've just been uh, we've just been drinking. Okay, see that building high above the others? If you saw a transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small quick enough to evade the six. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Well, that really tall, like, under construction... Oh, this is a new area. I love the zipline buckets. Oh no. our achievement especially in the slums, but people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day someone lit up a rainbow lamp's neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, but not long after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes, there was also nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colours again, like one, like on the outside. I think it helped. See what we have to do there a mile away, lads, eh? Don't have to make a racket though, those things. 